let's start with you. Who is your garbage person of the week? My garbage person is, uh, depending on how you look at it, Tim Pool or the entire concept of justice in America, if you want to take Tim Pool's side. But here's Tim Pool talking about what he will and won't accept when it comes to Russell Brand. And uh, I guess by the end of his discussion, the entire legal system. I reject all of the uh, accusations and allegations against Russell Brand. All right. I mean, it's 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 a pattern in. But one in, of them went to a rape crisis center at yeah, the time. And and considering the political state of this country, considering the actions being taken against them, considering the motivations of the press, sure. But I won't give the benefit of the doubt. Sorry, not happening. It's just there. there there's there. It, it's there are so many bad people and criminals who are getting away with everything that what we end up seeing is law enforcement choose to go after certain people when it benefits them politically. That's the nature of the West today. So when I see 20 year old accusations, it's Brett Kavanaugh all over again. Sorry, don't care at all. You wanna investigate, you wanna prove it, by all means, please do so. You prove it in a court, fine, I get it. But now, does anyone actually even believe these courts? That is the most Tim Pool minute I have seen in a very long time because a, he obviously didn't know that the woman actually went to a rape crisis center and there's actually some kind of history behind it. He doesn't know how any of these stories catch uh, a critical mass to like make it on the internet um, or he doesn't understand like who would bring these charges and to what extent they've been brought. And at the end, he is saying what? We both need to... We definitely don't want to trust anyone who brings any accusations, but he's just going to run and, and selectively choose whichever uh, ridiculous accusation he wants to back. So that based on wh how many people will reply on his tweet and, or watch his show, he he completely adjusts his position based on on what he thinks is best for growing an audience. Um, and then my guy at the end of it says like, but even if a court of law. Even if the rule of law prevails, essentially, I'm not going to trust it, period. He just creates this giant word cloud of like dumb guy libertarian drivel that makes him feel cool to say, because like cynicism's awesome, bro. I got a sword and a gun behind me. Your move, loser. <laughs> it's I watched this earlier this week and it had me screaming because if Andy No is the voice of reason on your podcast, <laughs> something has gone so severely wrong. And you know that he hasn't looked at the article. Also, the fact that they were investigating this for about four years before they put the story out. And the defamation laws are so much stricter in the UK that these news outlets have to be even more careful before putting out a story like this with these, you know, allegations. Just means that they had to go an extra mile to verify that everything they were reporting was true. And there is this irrefutable evidence, five months of notes between her and her therapist from the rape crisis center documenting that he did it. Texts from him, literal texts from Russell Brand to her apologizing for sexually assaulting her. But Tim's just like, can't be bothered. And, and this weird thing that they have how full of themselves the the Tim Pools are, where they think that Russell Brand's politics are well known. Right, <laughs> like people know him as the guy from Forgetting Sarah Marshall. That's how they know him. And some people are like, "Oh, he's kind of a a, a, a smart guy stand up." That's the only institutional knowledge people have of Russell Brand. So no one's making decisions based on what he said and they couldn't tell you what he said if you asked them. Um and the only thing people are focused on are these kinds of allegations and it, it's more telling of Tim Pool than it is of the legal system mm -hmm. that that Tim Pool is responding this way where he's literally saying and I have another side I'm not going to play but he basically says like Donald Trump he was in New York he's the most famous guy in the world in a Bergdorf Goodman and people didn't even even notice when he raped someone like what a ridiculous standard to hold people to he's obviously like I, I i worked in beverly hills like there was a barney's that like every a-list celebrity just went into and out of without like security or anything like that like 
in those cities. Like it's not a crazy thing to see Donald Trump on the street. But Tim Pool will have you believe that's how it works. And then Tim Pool goes on to make the same statement. I don't trust any, I don't trust a jury to make a decision. And so it's basically he's saying, I will tell you to distrust every system ever made. And the only person you can look to for the real truth is me, your leader against all odds, a guy who's wearing a beanie inside. <laughs> And if you ask Tim Pool if Joe Biden has done sexual assault or is a pedophile, I bet you beyond a shadow of a doubt that he will immediately answer yes. Yeah. No evidence whatsoever, <laughs> but that's fine for Tim Pool. I wouldn't expect him to be moved by an abundance of evidence or lack thereof because I mean, that is the guy who said that Trump was gonna win 2020 in a 50 state landslide, 50 states. Idiot. California, Illinois, we're gonna swing to Donald Trump in, in Tim Pool's small bald mind. <laughs>